In this video, we're going to discuss how to uh, assemble the cutting torch on the oxyacetylene uh, rig over in the Tyler Metal Shop. This is going to be a supplemental to the earlier video um, that shows you how to properly set it up uh, and break it down. You want to make sure that you watch that video before you uh, take a look at this one. So uh, first things first, the cutting torch is set up a bit differently. Notice that up on this wall chart here, you've got your different tip sizes and gas, gas pressures, so that's for cutting. This is really only good for cutting steel with. Um, you don't want to try and cut aluminum or stainless steel or pretty much any other metal other than plain old steel. Um, it just doesn't work. It's a chemical reaction using the oxygen uh, which is in this big green bottle here and it will basically uh, rust away your material. It will literally burn it away. So in order to set this guy up, uh, first off I've selected uh, a tip size here. It's written uh, appropriate to the metal I want to cut and so Right now this torch has one on here that is a 3-1-101. It's that first number is your tip size. So uh, it's written on the torch. There's no way you can see it in the video, um, but you can uh, read it on the tip size. So it's the first number, 3-1-101. So it's a tip size of three. We're gonna um, set him down for a moment here, uncoil a little bit of cable, uh, or a little bit of hose, I should say. Um, and then with that uh, hose, you'll notice that the torch handle here, the torch body, has a cap on it, a little thread protector cap. And uh, it's a good thing that that was on there because we don't want these threads to get damaged. They're brass, they're soft, they can get damaged very easily. So we'll set that cap aside for the moment. And we're always gonna, we'll just wanna check our O-rings, make sure they're intact uh, on the torch over here so they look good. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do is just always hand thread on these, uh, any of these torch fittings, always hand thread it on. And I'm gonna orient it in such a way where I've got um, my, my valves all facing the same direction so that I can um, adjust them as needed. So what this process does is it bypasses the oxygen valve on the torch body um, and then sets it up so that this is your new oxygen valve. So we're gonna open this guy all the way Right, and now this is my uh, oxygen valve. And then this is a bypass of this. And so that gives me an extra blast when I'm cutting. So let's set up our um, bottles here, get our pressure going. So first I'm gonna open up, um, first I'm gonna open up my, uh, sorry for the loud shop here. Um, first thing we're gonna check to make sure that the person before us uh, didn't leave these guys um, tighten down. When they're tight and there's pressure on these keys, that means they're, they're open and you could hammer these regulators. So always check to make sure that these are loose before you go opening up the tanks. And so they're loose now. I'm going to ease open this oxygen. And you always open a high pressure cylinder like this oxygen bottle all the way. Um, it's different with the acetylene. He only gets open about a quarter to a full turn uh, or half to a quarter turn. Then we're going to set our working pressure uh, on the chart. It tells me that I want my working pressure of oxygen to be around 40 and 45. We'll notice it's a lot, of, a lot of oxygen pressure. I'm going to read the inside numbers. And to bypass this valve, I can just hold down this, um, this handle. Remember, this guy's already all the way open. So we're going to set that to about 40. Notice that turns the oxygen on and off. And this guy is my preheat. Um, so this guy also opens it, but this bypasses that. So my oxygen pressure is set. Now let's go over to the acetylene. The working acetylene pressure is going to be far less than the oxygen. This guy, again, this is loose. We're going to open him only about a half to about three quarters of a turn for safety reasons. And once he's open uh, just that amount, he's fully open. It's a different type of tank. If you watch the other video, you will uh, learn about why. So only uh, about a half to three quarters of a turn. Then we're gonna set our pressure. We're gonna open up the torch valve, the acetylene red hose here. Um, and then we're gonna crank this down. And it says between, uh, sorry, four and eight for this tip size. It's pretty, this is one of the bigger ones we've got. So I'm gonna go right around five and now close that off. You don't want to vent too much acetylene while you're working in here. Uh, it is a highly flammable gas. You never work with acetylene over 15 psi. It becomes uh, very unstable and it can spontaneously explode. So just to give you a sense of what happens when you start lighting this, I'm going to 
set this guy away from the tanks here and maybe aim him a bit down. Um, and I'll give you a, a sense of what we're working with. You always light these torches with um, a striker, never a lighter or anything else really, because you don't want to hold any flammable objects around this thing. You're also going to be wearing a Shade 5 Shade 5 face shield when you're doing this. So um, you're probably not gonna be able to see the flame too well in the video, but you always look for that neutral flame and that could be found on this chart here. That's the lower right hand corner. And um, so what we do is we basically just give the acetylene about a quarter to an eighth of a turn, very little. And then we adjust it and so that some of that soot, most of that soot goes away and then we slowly add oxygen. This time the oxygen is up here until we get that neutral flame, which is about there. I'm sure you can't see in the video. And then you can uh, adjust that flame when you're in your cutting area. Now you're, you're set up for preheat and cutting. You're preheating and then you're cutting. Okay, when you're done, you always uh, turn the acetylene off first and this tells me it's that snapping noise tells me that this tip needs to be cleaned out. And then you turn off your oxygen. Um, the oxygen should be snuffing out the uh, acetylene. So that's how you uh, set up your uh, and light your torch there. When you're done, we're gonna close, um, or actually, we're first gonna bleed the line, so we're gonna go over to the tank here. So when you're done, sorry for all the loud noises, Folks are working in the shop behind me here. Staying productive is always good. So first thing you're gonna do is close your tanks and then bleed your line. So we're shutting off the supply of gas. Uh, we can relieve the oxygen pressure with the valve there and then the um, acetylene with this guy and then we can close them up. Then we're gonna close these guys by loosening them until there's no pressure on them. Once that's set, we close all this stuff up. Now we can unthread our torch handle here. Remember, no wrenches or anything like that. And then we're gonna grab our thread protector, torch cap, and we're gonna put that back on there. And once that's squared away, you can wrap up your hoses and clean up any debris, make sure that that torch body is uh, held securely behind the tanks there and then um, you're all set to go so make sure you sweep up around yourself and uh, this is for real Z's dangerous stuff if you're not using it properly wear your safety gear um, this is uh, high pressure gas and and very highly flammable and potentially very volatile uh, gas compounds so you really don't want to mess with this do not use this setup unless you have um, been cleared by the technician or your instructor. Always make sure that the equipment is functioning properly. If you see anything not functioning properly, report it to the tech immediately and do not use it. Um, stay safe, wear your face shield, wear uh, your gloves. I also recommend hearing protection. Um, and if you have any questions, just ask.